Good morning and welcome to a marvelous Monday. We are here for our weekly read aloud. And today I am tackling a subject that is not necessarily my favorite, but shout out to Katrina Stock for helping me to learn to like math. And so the name of our story is called, I'm trying to love math. Katrina Stock did a lot with us here at Seaford um, in getting us to love math. And I'm trying to love math. Let's go ahead and get into it. Mathematics, in a sense, is logic let loose in the field of the imagination. I'm trying to love math. Our author is Bethany Barton. If you ask me, math is not very lovable. I know I'm not alone here. Four in 10 Americans hate math. Did you just use math to explain how much you don't like math? Oh gosh, I know I didn't do that. So look at these two different ways they use math to explain how much they don't like math. <laughs> a space alien, what do you know about math? Well, math is understood all over the earth, no matter what language people speak. Five plus 12 equals 17, except you're not from earth. Nope, but thankfully scientists sent math out to space. So math is a language that all can understand. Scientists took examples of Earth, of life on Earth, things like language, music, and math, and put them onto golden records. The golden records went on space probes they sent into deep space for curious aliens like me to find. They sent you math? No wonder aliens don't come to visit. They should have sent cookies. What are cookies? I'll make you some. There's so much more better than math. <laughs> so there are those golden records that were sent out into space with all that math information. Let's see, I just need two and a half cups of flour, three fourths cup of sugar, three fourths cup of brown sugar, one cup of butter. Hmm, looks like I need two of these to equal one cup. Wait, baking is just a bunch of math, isn't it? Whoa. In fact, this whole recipe is basically a word problem. Oh dear, are we using math and we don't even know it? So recipes are just like math. But isn't that a good thing? Without those measurements and fractions, what would you end up with? A burnt pile of mush, I guess you have a point. Okay, you see this math problem here? 780, 785 times five. I am going to try to love it. Maybe if I stare at it and think about cookies. Okay, let's look at it. Do we love it yet? Do we love it? Oh, and there are those cookies without all those math measurements. They don't look so delicious, do they? <laughs> 785 times five? Nope, I'm already bored. What if I jazz it up with some extra numbers and add some of these symbols? Ooh, does that make the math a little more fun? <laughs> Whoops, you got a little carried away. This is way too much math. Can we shake the book and make some numbers fall out? Just hold it tight and give it a few good shakes. Okay, so see, they got, and I kind of got carried away, but we're gonna give it a shake, 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 shake. Let's see what happens. Shoo, thanks. Math is just so boring. It's not like you can dance to it. Actually, you can. Music has a lot of math in it. In fact, it was a mathematician who discovered that different lengths of string produce different musical sounds. Who knew math in music?
music. And I love music. Because of his math, you're able to make the guitars you have today. Well, thanks for ruining music for me. Now all I hear are numbers. I think you're missing the point. Math isn't all about numbers. Arithmetic, another word for math with numbers, is super helpful. But it's only one part of math. So see how math allowed the guitar to be made? And math allows us to make purchases of some of our favorite things. Math is also about exploring, about finding new ways to get places and helping you find your way back. For centuries, sailors navigated using the stars, special measuring tools, and lots of math. Modern explorers calculate how much force and fuel is needed to get a rocket past your atmosphere and out into space. Take that, gravity. <laughs> so math is everywhere, even when rocket ships are going into space. Speaking of exploring, you barely checked out Earth. We have lots of beautiful things to see. Symmetry, where two or more parts match each other. Fractual, a special pattern made up of smaller copies of itself. Math is here in your nature too. Math is about finding shapes and patterns. Oh, no you don't. You're making it all about math again, but it's my turn to teach you something. Introducing Earth's greatest invention, pizza. Mm -mm. Do you think they're gonna try to turn this into math? I think so. Even in nature, there is a lot of math. That does look interesting. How big is that thing? Oh, that's easy. It's, um, wait. How do you measure this thing? I know, and the answer is easy as pi. Pi represents a number. It's a super long number, so you usually shorten it to 3.14. It's a sort of cheat code to figure out the size of a circle. Pi times diameter equals circumference. Pi is also what makes what's called an irrational number, which means it goes on forever and never repeats, like this. So measuring that pizza taught us about pi and the circumference of a circle. Well, that was unexpected. I never thought I'd say this, but this is too much pie for me. That's an easy fix. Let's just grab the book and shake all this pie off the page. Because remember, that 3.14 goes on forever and ever. So let's shake it. All those numbers are falling off. What happens next? Shoo, that's better. I'll admit, some of this math stuff is cool. But math can still be pretty frustrating, like how there's only one right answer. But it's also what makes math so helpful. Math gives us a set of rules everyone can agree on. So we know how far to travel to get places, how fast we're moving on our way, and how much things cost when we get there. So look at all the different ways to use math. When we're traveling, when we purchase things. Well, I'm ready to test that out. You know, math is a part of so many things I already love. I guess I don't need to try to love it at all. It turns out I already do. Great. You love math. My work here is done. Time to head home. Thanks for your help. Where did you say you're from anyway? Planet homework. <laughs> Yikes. The end. I promise I'm trying to love math. 
I do hope you enjoyed our read aloud for today. In a couple of days, we will celebrate March 14th, Pi Day 3.14. Just us.